This video is sponsored by Y Food. Right, Mr. Anderson, you left this comment when Hannah finally built her Mustang Liberty Walk kit. It reads, the Mustang looks the better out of the two, but I just don't see the point of it at all. They look ridiculous and you can't drive them anywhere. So I've decided to do a full video, a full road trip dedicated to Mr. Anderson to prove that the Mustang and the Maserati, both with Liberty Walk kits on, can be driven and used every single day as a normal car. Isn't that right? That's right. <laughs> Let's do it. So the first stop of the trip is Teesside Autodrome in Middlesbrough, where we'll be testing the Maserati and the Mustang around the track. Has the Liberty Walk kit affected the handling? But they won't be racing each other. They'll be racing this, a two litre Renault Clio Sport. It's kitted out for the track, but how will the little two litre compare against the two big V8s? So first off is the Clio to set the lap time. It's Baz driving. Are you ready? Yeah, ready. Three, two, one, go! Now Baz has a lot of experience on the track from racing motorbikes professionally. But will all that matter when racing a Renault Clio? The Clio is quick and light and switchy around the corners. But it finished a quick lap across the line. Next up, Hannah in the Mustang. Unlike Baz, Hannah has the least experience around the track, but she has the car with the most BHP and the most power here. But will that show on her lap time? Come on! And across the line. Oh my heart, mate! Okay, Hannah's done well. Next up, the Maserati. So I've got Baz's result and I've got Hannah's result and those guys have got my result. Liberty Walk cars for the win. Come on, have we beaten the Renault Clio, the two litre little front wheel drive thing. First off, Hannah's time in the Ford Mustang. One minute and 22 seconds. My time? Yeah, come on. One minute. Yeah. 20. 20? <laughs> no, 16.1. 1 minute 16.1, and that means Baz takes a win in the Renault Clio at 1 minute 30 seconds. That much. That's what? Not that. So the little 2 litre Clio took the win over the Maserati and the Mustang. But hang on a minute. After looking back at the Clio's footage, we noticed this. Now what you're seeing right there is unlawful use of the handbrake. Me and Hannah decided that this was against the rules and Baz should be penalised 10 seconds on his time. And what do you know, that means the Maserati and the Mustang actually end up with a quicker lap time than the Clio. Now if the Liberty Walk cars did so well round the track, what would they be like on a thousand mile road trip? But before we go on any road trip, and before you guys go on any road trip, there's some few general maintenance and health checks we need to do before we leave. But first off, it's time for a Y Food, who have sponsored this whole trip. So on a road trip, we are all guilty of it. Stopping off at a services and just grabbing something which is unhealthy, well, 
This is where Y Food really helps people like us out. People who are on the go 24 7. With that being said, I'm stocking up on Y Food before we head out. So Y Food is a meal replacement drink. It's not a protein shake, it's not a weight gainer or anything like that. It simply just replaces your meal. So inside one of these bad boys, there is 26 vitamins and minerals. It's high in fiber, it's high in protein, it's lactose free, it's gluten free, and there's no added sugar. And there's 500 calories in there to ensure that it's enough to replace one of your meals. So instead of grabbing that junk food for your breakfast, lunch, or dinner, grab a Y food and you'll feel much better about it and your body will as well. There is loads of flavors to choose from and to find your favorite flavor, you can buy a starter pack by clicking the link in the description box below. And if you see this banner appearing underneath me right now, there's a little discount code to help you out. So a massive thanks to Waifu for sponsoring this video and keeping us going throughout this whole trip. Right, time for the maintenance. So after being fresh around the track, both cars are due an oil change. Hannah will be first on her Mustang. Off comes the filler cap and out comes the dipstick. The sump plug's pretty easy to get to and loose enough to drain all of the oil out. As for the oil filter, well that's a different story. We had to take down this cover here and then somehow wiggle my arm up to get the oil filter out. And in goes the new one. Back goes on the cover, back goes on the sump plug and in goes the fresh oil. Now the engine bay was looking pretty dusty and dirty, so it's only right we give it a quick spray with this silly shine. The link is in the description. Next up, the Maserati. Same concept, oil cap off, dipstick out, straight underneath it to drain the oil out of the sump, which was pretty easy on the Maserati. We just have to remove one shield from the bottom and we can get straight to the oil filter. And in goes the new oil filter. Obviously it's a Maserati one because you can't get them anywhere else. And of course it comes at a Maserati price. Back goes on the cover, down goes the car and in goes the fresh oil. And of course a quick spray with the Silly Shine. And that is both cars ready. Time to get on the road. Let's do it. I wake up in a cold sweat. I wonder if it's too late to block out all the sunlight. Block out all the sunlight. Fresh oil in the Maserati. It is running smooth and crisp. We've got over 150 miles to do today. In the Maserati and the Mustang, we're heading to Wales. Let's hope the weather picks up. It is absolutely horrendous at the minute, but this is British summertime, and we're just going to show that these cars can be driven no matter what weather, no matter what day, no matter what terrain, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's head to Wales. So that was the plan. Over a 150 mile trip from Leicester to the north of Wales in Snowdonia is where we'd start the road trip but obviously not without something going wrong. My windscreen has just cracked. Literally just randomly cracked on that corner there. Wow, look at that. Oh, I cannot imagine how much a Maserati windscreen is gonna be. How does this happen? Just randomly, I don't know. Bad luck, I, can't, I, I just don't know. But I can't imagine a Maserati windscreen is gonna be cheap. Okay, so a new windscreen for a 2007 Maserati is £800. Luckily, I've got windscreen cover, so that's booked for when we get back. Let's carry on. We carried on the journey before finally arriving at the hotel in Snowdonia. We settled in for the night at the hotel and prayed for better weather the next morning. It's a new day, the weather looks like it's picking up, and you know what? 
I'm happy to be in my Maserati. Crispy, yeah, that boy Bresby. Had the tongue gleaming, yeah, I know they can't miss me. See a boy a mile away, my kicks is really head tink. Looking like that meme, then them boys really spit tink. I just put an ISO logo on a damn sweater vest. I got little money watching power, give us our respect. Damn, I be so fresh, and them boys be so clean too. Had them looking mad hard, damn, I didn't mean to. Okay, so both cars have made it here so far, all the way to the north of Wales. Now we'll be heading all the way down to the south of Wales, where we'll be driving on some good roads, some challenging roads as well. But both of these GT cars are going to be doing exactly what GT cars should do, even though they are Liberty Walks. Now, finally, when we get down to the south of Wales, we will be camping. So, Mr. Anderson, you're going to eat your words. Now, we had absolutely no camping gear, so we stopped off at the local Halfords and then got back on the road. The trip would take us from the top of Wales all the way down to the south of Wales where some of the roads got interesting and quite tight. But then also some roads which were just unreal. reasons you buy it because of how it makes you feel when you wear them and about how much of a good time you're gonna have when you're wearing them and that's the best way I could probably explain these Liberty Walk cars in fact spending more and more time inside our cars was making us appreciate them that little bit more especially on these types of roads but it wasn't long before we arrived at our 17 pound pitch up where we would build our tent and spend the night, well, on the grass. Do not ever camp. It is freezing. And this is, this, this ain't even a sleeping bag, it's a bed sheet. After one cold night, I kindly shared my thoughts on camping. Well, camping, is absolutely sh So we just left the campsite, we're on the way to Bristol, where the cars will take on their biggest challenge yet. Okay, so this is the steepest street in the UK. It's called Vale Street and it's in Bristol. Now, even the most normalist, normalist or normal of cars scrape going down it. They struggle. So what we're gonna do to prove Mr. Anderson wrong is take our Liberty Walk cars down it and back up it with ease. Both us and the cars were ready to take on the challenge. I'd go first, followed by the Mustang. Now, it was raining outside, so we had to use an iPhone to film it, but this is what we got. Oh, that was surprisingly easy. Uh, Maserati did that, well, without even touching at all. And imagine Hannah said the same about the Mustang. That was easy. I don't know what people are moaning about. So after both Liberty Walk cars tackled the track so well, and also tackled rural driving, and also some steep hills, it was time to take on city driving. Okay, so here we go, off to the big smoke, London. So with hundreds of miles already under the belt of the Maserati and the Mustang, it was time to add another 120 miles to the odometer. The Shard in London, which is where we'll be heading to. It's the tallest building in Western Europe, and it cost us £600 for one night. So it should make a nice change from camping. Driving into central London is no joke and the Shard couldn't really get any more central. And parking at the Shard doesn't come cheap either. £55 for one night for one car. Driving in London in any normal car is stressful. Never mind a Liberty Walks Maserati. I've got it in the highest setting possible just for ground clearance. It must look like a Maserati on stilts driving round. I can't imagine what Hannah's like. I bet she is stressing. I absolutely hate driving in London. I'd much 
rather stay in the tent, I don't care. But after hours of tackling London traffic, the Maserati finally cruised up to the final destination of the road trip, the Shard. And you know what? The £600 room wasn't so bad. And after track racing in Middlesbrough, driving some awesome roads in Wales, and tackling some stressful city driving, I think we've gone above and beyond to prove that our modified cars can be used every day. And Mr. Anderson, if you're watching this, I think you were proven wrong. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next one. Peace out. Wait, but that doesn't explain where the Mustang was. Well, we parked it in a car park down the road because if you think I'm paying another £55 to park a car at the Shard, then you're mad. But again, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Okay.